Welcome to lesson 21, all about how to simplify expressions. Today, I've got something really special for you. We're going to learn all about the order of operations. And then I have a really fun illustrated set of problems that we'll get to practice how to simplify expressions. So let's dig right into this lesson. So we are going to be working with expressions. And before we get started with this one, I want to let you know that an expression is a list of numbers and operations, and it does not have an equal sign. We will move on to that next after this lesson. We'll do equations. Equations have equal signs. Expressions don't. So we're going to be simplifying this expression by getting it down to just one answer. Okay, and then it will be more simple than, than what it is right now. So the thing that's important with expressions is that we learn the correct order of operations. So if, you know, if one person starts over here with the subtraction, and then another person says, no, we're supposed to multiply first, then you would get two different answers. So we are going to learn about the order of operations that was decided upon by mathematicians a long time ago to make sure that we all do expressions in the same order, and so then we'll all get the same answer. So I'll show you what that is. So this is just an easy way to remember the steps. If you'll say PEMDAS with me, PEMDAS, it tells you the steps in the right order. So we need to understand what they mean though. So the P stands for parentheses. Okay, so if you see numbers and operations inside of parentheses, you always do that first. Then the E stands for exponents. So if you see a number like this, with a little number to the corner there, that's called an exponent. You're going to see exponents next year in sixth grade, but I thought I'd go ahead and mention it so that you know that those would come next. In our example, of course, we don't have any, but you'll see that in the future. Okay, then the M, stands for multiply, the D stands for divide, and these two go together. So I'm going to circle them together because sometimes you'll see multiply and divide in the same expression, and you get to do whichever one comes first left to right. So if, if you know, there was a multiply and divide in this one, you would just go with whatever, whichever one comes first. Okay, then you move on, once you've done all the multiplying and dividing, then you move on to adding and subtracting. And those can be the same, where if, if uh, add comes first, left to right, you can do that first. If subtract comes first, left to right, you can do that first. Okay, so now let's try this first example using the order of operations that I just taught you about. So I start with parentheses and there, there are no parentheses in this expression. Expression. So I'm going to move on to, we know there's no exponents, multiply, any multiplying and dividing. So I am going to do this first. I know that seems weird. You would think that you would start with the 20 and go left to right. But in this case, since we want to do multiply and divide before add and subtract, we've got to do this one first. So that is 15. Okay, then I like to copy everything down again, because I can, I can get a little confused if I don't. And this would be great for you too, because you'll, you know, this is a very simple expression but they will get more challenging, more steps. And so if you'll write every step down that you do and then copy the rest of the numbers down, it will help you from getting confused, okay? So the last step, of course, is add and subtract. You know, we did all the multiplying and dividing, then we're left with the add and subtract. 
and that's all, the, the only step left is subtract. So 20 minus 15 is five. So we just simplified our first expression. It really equals five. Here we are checking back in with Henry the Sloth and his food truck called Senior Sloth. You might remember Henry from some of my older videos and I thought this is the perfect time to bring him back for a video. They are still doing so great with their business. I mean, we're talking so great that Henry likes to order his tortillas in boxes of 250. Today, he's already had 47 orders for the three taco plate. Ring, ring, ring. Senior Sloths, how can I help you? Uh, yeah, I'm a baseball coach, and I'm gonna need 28 orders of the three taco plate for my team and some parents. Okay, awesome. We'll get working on that right away. Okay, so now we'd better help Henry figure out how many tortillas he has left. If he started with 250... And he already sold 47 orders of the three taco plate. And then he got an order for 28 orders of the three taco plate. After all that, how many tortillas does Henry have left? All right, so let's try out this expression that goes with the example. So I'm going to start with... parentheses. Okay, so I'm going to be doing 28 times 3, and I'm also going to go ahead and do 47 times 3. So I can get both of those answers, and then I'll figure out the next step. So we have 28 times 3 is 84. 84 tortillas, then we have 47 times 3, ooh, 141 tortillas, and I'm going to erase my extra work down here so it's not in the way of the expression, okay? And then uh, I taught you earlier that it's always best to go ahead and copy down everything that we haven't done yet also, so I don't get mixed up. See, I'm copying down the operations and the brackets, so that way I know that my next step is adding these two. Okay, so I got 225. And now I just need to do 250 minus 225. Ooh, it looks like I'm going to be running kind of low on tortillas. Oh my goodness, only 25 tortillas left of that big box. Henry, man, I was looking at the online orders, and look at this. Each churro order comes with four, and Antonio R. ordered 23 orders of churros. Olivia E. ordered 12 orders of churros, and Harper E. ordered 17. Maybe our friends here can help us figure out how many churros do we need to make. Okay, I think we can help him out. Let's pause the video and see if you can figure out if churros come in orders of four, how many churros are they going to need for 23 orders, 12, and 17? Check your work with mine.
Just for fun, let's do one more task. I want to know how much money Henry and Howard are making with these taco and churro orders. They sold 208 churros at 50 cents a churro and 225 tacos for 75 cents a taco. And now let's do the rest of the math to find out how much money this is. Way to go, Henry and Howard!